human being have been constructing shelters for their safe and comfortable living since beginning of civilization all shelters need to be protected against weather forces such as sun rain cold heat etc to provide occupants safe and healthy environment apart from other constructions the roof slab needs to be made leak proof against rain the rain water accumulated on the roof slab needs to be drained off quickly to eliminate leakage and dampness under the roof RCC roof slabs develop very fine cracks which sometimes form passage for standing rain water stone slabs known as patties have large number of joints which are difficult to seal and make leak proof it is therefore necessary to have leak proof treatment for all type of roof slabs for providing healthy comfortable and leak proof environment under these roof slabs the method of roof treatment must ensure proper roof surface slope for quick drainage and sealing of all cracks and joints there are different methods of roof treatment for making roof slabs leak proof the specific method depends on the loading of the treatment considered in the structural design local weather data such as rainfall and temperature variations type of roof slab local construction technology type of building occupancy such as residential commercial educational industrial etc sloping roofs are provided in places where snowfall or heavy rainfall occurs flat type roofs with rcc or stone slabs are provided in places where moderate and light rainfall occurs commonly used waterproof roof treatments in flat and lightly sloping roofs will be dealt in different parts coba treatment part 1 multiplus waterproofing system part 2 tarfel treatment part 3 mud fusca treatment part 4 lime terracing part 5 polythene and chemical treatment part 6 coba treatment Coba is one of the most effective leak proof treatments. It can be carried out directly on RCC or stone slabs after completion of plumbing and sanitary work. We shall study construction techniques of coba waterproofing treatments. Coba treatment is carried out in five courses and provides long life of water tightness to the roof slabs the surface of the roof slabs should be cleaned and washed with water before laying first course slurry is prepared freshly by mixing cement with 1 to 2% super seal compound 
such as acrylic based acrylintrol chemical or any other waterproofing compound The slurry is first mixed dry and then adding enough water the slurry is continuously stirred for keeping uniform consistency. First layer of freshly prepared slurry of cement and mixed with acrylintral acrylic based super seal is spread thinly on the prepared clean roof surface. Cement sand mortar is freshly prepared by mixing one to two percent super seal or any other waterproofing compound powder in one is to five cement sand dry mix the mortar is first mixed dry with five parts sand one part cement and one to two percent super seal and then enough water is added to make good plastic mortar. Thickness and levels of roof treatment are marked on the parapet wall for showing the correct drainage slope in the terrace. The prepared plastic cement sand mortar is placed on the prepared surface with a layer of slurry. The mortar is spread to a thickness of about 20 millimeter. Brick bats are inserted in the prepared surface of 20 millimeter mortar layer to have a brick bat mortar layer of thickness of 100 millimeter to 150 millimeter to provide a suitable drainage slope towards rainwater pipe. The freshly prepared plastic and workable cement sand mortar is laid spread and grouted over the previously laid brick bat layer filling all the voids and joints properly freshly prepared plastic cement sand mortar is further spread on the grouted joints of brick bat layer to seal and make these leak proof while finishing the terrace any pebble or wooden piece etc should be removed to create waterproof layer. It is important to provide and maintain drainage slope in top surface of layer of brick bats. The grouted surface is allowed 
to cure for two to three days. The finished grouted surface is watered continuously for two to three days to avoid surface cracks. Now again, fresh cement slurry is prepared by mixing the usual materials. The slurry is kept continuously stirred for maintaining its consistency. The freshly prepared cement slurry is laid and spread over the grouted and cured brick bat mortar layer. Cement sand mortar is again prepared with the same proportion and materials. Instead of super seal, any other waterproofing compound can also be used in preparation of cement sand mortar or cement slurry. Enough quantity of water is required for making plastic mortar. The prepared cement mortar is laid in a layer of about 20 millimeter thickness over the prepared brick bat mortar layer, spread and finished with a trowel to maintain the desired drainage slope. After initial setting of mortar, a thin layer of cement slurry containing super seal or other waterproofing compound is laid on the top mortar layer and finished with trowel. Make false square marking on the freshly finished surface. These square markings can be made with a string or trowel. These square markings help in reducing the surface cracking due to expansion and contraction because of change of temperature and thus improving waterproofing of the roof.